Hello everybody, welcome back to part 2 of the ABRSM grade 1 music theory. Today's topics we're going to be looking at the accidentals, semitones, tones and the scale of C major. Accidentals. The black notes on a keyboard take their names from the white notes. A black note to the right of a white note has the same letter name but with sharp added. The music sign for sharp is shown by this symbol. The black note to the right of C is therefore C sharp. The black note to the right of D is D sharp, and so on. There is also another way of naming the black notes. A black note to the left of a white note has the same name as the white note, but with flat added. The music sign for flat is shown by this symbol. Notice that it is not quite the same as the letter B. The black note to the left of D is therefore D flat. The black note to the left of E is E flat, and so on. Although every black note can have two names, usually one of them would be correct. The music sign for natural is shown by this symbol. So the full name of a white note, C, is C natural. The distance from one note to another is called the interval between them. The smallest interval on a keyboard is the one between any note and the note immediately next to it. This interval is a semitone. The interval between the white note B and the white note C is a semitone. And so is the interval between E natural and F natural. All other semitones include a black note. For example, C to C sharp, C sharp to D natural, D natural to D sharp, or D to E flat. Two semitones together make a tone. For example, C to D, D to E, E to F sharp. If you play all the white notes from C to the next C to the right, one after the other, you will have played a scale. This particular scale is the scale of C major. C because that is the note it begins and ends on. And major because of the way its semitones and tones are arranged. Here is the same scale C major with the semitones marked. All the other intervals are tones. <laughs>